Have you ever wondered if Dubai's glitz and glamour is merely a mirage? A fascinating question to ponder indeed. Let's take a journey, shall we? In the span of just a few decades, Dubai has transformed itself from a sleepy fishing village to a city that's synonymous with luxury, wealth, and architectural marvels. It's a place where futuristic skyscrapers punctuate the skyline and man-made islands shape the coastline. This is a city where you can ski indoors while the temperature outside soars above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This transformation has been nothing short of miraculous, or at least, that's what it seems. A city in the middle of a desert, boasting luxuries that even the richest cities in the world can't match. But how did it all happen? How did a city with no natural resources except for a bit of oil, manage to build such a paradise? The answer lies in the vision of its rulers and the labor of millions of immigrants. The rulers saw the potential of transforming their city into a global hub for tourism and commerce. And they did it by investing heavily in infrastructure and inviting the world to come and marvel at what they have built. But behind this dazzling display of wealth and luxury, there's a darker side. A side that's not often talked about. A side that's hidden behind the glitzy malls, the towering skyscrapers, and the seven-star hotels. A side that reveals the true cost of this rapid development. It's a side that involves the exploitation of labor, the ignoring of human rights, and the reckless use of natural resources. It's a side that shows how the city's rapid development has been built on the backs of millions of laborers who work in harsh conditions for meager wages. And then there's the environmental impact. The city's rapid development has had a massive impact on the local environment. The creation of artificial islands and the excessive use of energy have led to significant environmental damage. So is the city of gold all that it seems or just a facade? Stick around as we delve deeper into the reality behind Dubai's glittering skyline. Does Dubai's wealth come from oil as most people think? Well, let's take a closer look at the reality behind the glitz and glamour. Contrary to popular belief, the wealth of Dubai is not primarily oil-based. In fact, oil accounts for less than 1% of the city's GDP. Yes, you heard it right, less than 1%. The city struck black gold in the late 60s, but the rulers knew that the oil reserves were finite and wouldn't last forever. So, they embarked on a mission to diversify their economy, steering clear of an over-reliance on oil wealth, and diversify they did. Today, Dubai is a global city and a major business hub, with sectors like tourism, real estate and finance contributing significantly to its economy. Let's delve into these a bit more, shall we? Tourism is a major pillar of Dubai's economy. The city has positioned itself as a world-class travel destination, boasting beautiful beaches, luxury hotels, and iconic structures like the Burj Khalifa and Palm Jumeirah. It's a city that never sleeps, offering everything from skydiving to desert safaris. Then there's the real estate sector. Dubai's skyline is a testament to its booming property market. Skyscrapers dot the cityscape, housing businesses from around the globe. The city's strategic location connecting the east and the west makes it a desirable location for international businesses and entrepreneurs. And let's not forget finance. Dubai's financial market is one of the fastest growing in the world. The city has become a financial hub, attracting investment from all corners of the globe. It's a melting pot of innovation and opportunity, a place where ideas meet capital. So, you see, Dubai's wealth is not just about oil. It's about innovation, diversification, and a relentless pursuit of growth. It's about a city that dared to dream big and turn those dreams into reality. The illusion of an oil-rich Dubai, it seems, is just that. An illusion. Ever pondered about the price paid for Dubai's luxurious lifestyle? When the world marvels at Dubai's glittering skyline, a seldom-asked question lurks in the shadows. Who built this oasis of luxury? The answer is, predominantly, migrant laborers. Many of these workers hail from countries like India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan, lured by the promise of well-paid jobs and a better life. But the reality they encounter is often far from the dream they were sold. Living in cramped and often unsanitary conditions, these workers toil under the scorching sun to erect the city's magnificent skyscrapers. The towering Burj Khalifa, the opulent Palm Jumeirah, every gleaming edifice is a testament to their sweat, their labor, and their dreams. But while these structures stand as symbols of opulence and prosperity, the workers who build them find themselves trapped in a cycle of debt and exploitation. Many have their passports confiscated upon arrival, leaving them at the mercy of their employers. The grueling work hours coupled with the harsh desert climate make for a punishing work environment. And yet, 
They persist, driven by the hope of a brighter future for their families back home. Let's not forget the stark wage disparity. While the city's elite indulge in extravagant lifestyles, these laborers earn a pittance. The irony is stark. Those who build the city can barely afford to live in it, let alone enjoy its luxuries. In recent years, there have been efforts to improve labor conditions, spurred by international scrutiny and criticism. Laws have been enacted to protect workers' rights, and some progress has been made. But the journey is far from over. Until every worker in Dubai is treated with the dignity and respect they deserve, the city's shimmering facade will always conceal a darker truth. So next time you're awed by Dubai's skyline, take a moment to think about the hands that built it. Beneath the city's glamorous veneer lies a narrative of struggle and sacrifice that's too often overlooked. Luxury, it appears, has a dark side. What's the ecological cost of Dubai's rapid development? We're in an era where the environment has taken center stage, and rightfully so. As we delve into the environmental impact of Dubai's rapid development, it's clear that the city's growth has not been without significant ecological consequences. Dubai, a city that emerged from the desert, is now a bustling metropolis. But this transformation has come with a hefty carbon footprint. The city's reliance on fossil fuels for power and its high consumption lifestyle result in a per capita carbon footprint that's one of the highest in the world. The city's countless skyscrapers, while impressive, require considerable energy for cooling in the desert heat, further contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. Water, the lifeblood of any city, is a scarce commodity in Dubai. The city's water supply largely relies on energy-intensive desalination and underground reserves, which are depleting rapidly. This reliance on desalination is not only energy-consuming, but also generates a significant amount of waste brine, which can harm marine life when released back into the sea. And speaking of marine life, Dubai's rapid development has also had a profound effect on local wildlife. The construction of artificial islands and extensive urbanization has disrupted native habitats, threatening the survival of numerous species. The Arabian oryx, the hubara bustard, and the green turtle are just a few of the species struggling to survive amidst the city's expansion. Dubai's transformation from a desert to a dazzling city has indeed been remarkable. But this growth has come at a steep environmental cost. The city's high carbon footprint, water scarcity issues, and the impact on local wildlife are stark reminders that progress should not come at the expense of the planet. As we forge ahead into the future, it's crucial that we reevaluate our approach to development. Sustainable growth is not just a buzzword, it's a necessity. Dubai's rapid development, it seems, is not without its ecological consequences. So, what's the real story of Dubai, you may ask? Well, let's delve in. Dubai, beneath the glittering facade, is a city hard at work. It's a place grappling with its issues just like any other city in the world. Yes, it has its fair share of problems but it's also making strides towards solutions. Dubai's government, for instance, has launched various initiatives to mitigate its environmental impact and is investing in sustainable technologies for a greener future. But let's not forget, Dubai is more than just its skyscrapers and luxurious lifestyle. It's a city steeped in rich cultural history, a melting pot of traditions from the Middle East and beyond. Walk into the heart of old Dubai and you'll find yourself transported to a different time. The aroma of spices wafting from the souks, the call to prayer echoing from the mosques, the artistry and the architecture, it's a sensory feast that speaks volumes of the city's cultural heritage. And then there's the people. The city is a diverse tapestry of nationalities, each contributing to the vibrant culture of Dubai. You'll find folks from all walks of life here, from ambitious entrepreneurs to skilled laborers, all drawn to the city by the opportunities it presents. It's this diversity that fuels the city's dynamism and innovation. Dubai is also a city of resilience. It has weathered economic storms, adapted to change, and continues to redefine itself. It's a city that's not afraid to dream big and take bold steps to realize those dreams. Whether it's building the world's tallest building or pioneering solar power projects, Dubai is constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So, there you have it. The real Dubai is a city of contrasts of grandeur and simplicity, tradition and innovation, challenges and solutions. It's a city that's constantly evolving, constantly surprising and never failing to captivate. Dubai, like any city, has its pros and cons. It's up to us to see beyond the mirage and appreciate the city for what it truly is.